Meantime, in his first interview since announcing that monumental move, Caps and Wizards owner Ted Leonsis is talking one on one with WUSA 9. Yeah, Leonsis has told our chief investigative reporter Eric Flack that as long as he gets approval from lawmakers, he is taking the Caps and the, and the Wizards to Alexandria. He also told Flack he's been surprised by the public outrage over the plan. Public outrage only intensified after I posted some of what Ted Leonsis told me on X. So I asked him what was behind his decision and did it have anything to do with rising crime around his current home in Penn Quarter, Capital One Arena. The crime in this area has been no secret. It has been a challenge. It happens right outside your door. Did that factor into this decision? Much less than I think everyone is talking about. Sitting down for his first interview since announcing plans to move the Washington Capitals and Wizards to a brand new arena in Alexandria's Potomac Yard, Monumental Sports and Entertainment owner Ted Leonsis said the decision to leave D.C. was about space, 12 acres in Potomac Yard versus three acres downtown and the ability to have a blank slate to build a brand new 20,000 seat arena and music venue. In an open letter to fans Penn last month, Leonsis said between the Capitals and Wizards, 44% of fans who attend games are from Virginia, 41% are from Maryland, and 15% are from DC. He called the DMV a quote, super region. From a business standpoint, we don't feel we've done anything interruptive, but I, I have empathy. I understand people are feeling that downtown D.C., that this was a great place, and it is a great place for a building. We just have to look at what's the next 30 years going to be like. And despite negotiating with D.C. government for months last year, resulting in a $600 million city-funded offer to renovate Capital One Arena in order to keep the teams in D.C., in our interview, Leonsis sounded like his sights were always set on Northern Virginia. So that wasn't a foregone conclusion from the start that the plan was to move to Northern Virginia. My plan is to build the world's most valuable and important regional sports and entertainment company. Um, I haven't been shy about saying I'd like to acquire other teams. We want to own and operate multiple buildings. Is there any chance that the Wizards and the Caps stay at Capital One Arena? Well, right now the die is cast. We've, we've declared our major. Although Leonsis' arena plan is facing mounting opposition from neighbors in Alexandria, many of whom are concerned about increased traffic, people lobbying lawmakers on his behalf told me the Alexandria City Council is firmly behind the plan, meaning this move could be a done deal if the Virginia legislature approves that $2.8 billion financing package. It should be noted, however, that Alexandrians will vote to elect a new mayor and city council in November. Eric Flack, WUSA 9. The die is cast, he says. That's All right. There's much more to this conversation. You can watch Flack's entire interview with Ted Leonsis right now on our WUSA 9 YouTube page and WUSA 9 Plus.